The seasons are changing as the daylight is getting shorter, the temperatures are getting a little bit cooler in the mornings and evenings, and I am excited for this fall season. It is a day of homemaking, homeschooling, and just doing things homemade. So I am gonna bring you along on this day. It is also exciting because it is a collaboration with my good friend Hillary at Old World Home and she is doing some fall homemaking as well. So I'm glad you are here to join both of us in our days of homemaking with her and her four kids and myself and my three kiddos. So let's just enjoy a day of what this fall season brings. And we started off with a morning routine of um, getting outside, doing my devotionals, making breakfast for the kids, just some tasks, and now a little preschool time. Laundry, of course, is always in that routine too. So let's just join me in my day. Well, good morning, friends. It is about nine o'clock. We've had such a great morning. We are having a beautiful September day. It's supposed to be mid eighties after having a heat wave of four days in a row of about 100 degrees. So I'm excited to bring you along today and just whatever my homemaking day brings. I have some homeschool things planned for my four-year-old. We did a little bit already, as you saw. Um, we got the day going with my morning routine. I got up, I usually get up about 5.30, 6 o'clock, nurse my little one, and then just establish my routine. And he's about three months old now, so not really a newborn but it's really nice to have that morning time that quiet time with my husband reading our bibles doing a little mini workout um now that i'm along far enough along postpartum and so now the girls are playing with the puzzle i'm gonna go nurse again and then we'll keep establishing the day and what it brings i have some baking i'm gonna make a chili because it's kind of fall-esque and I'm gonna go pick some apples from a friend's tree and just really have a slow homemaking day, which I love and I am so grateful that I can do. So let's keep going on my day and I'm going to enjoy my Americano with some heavy cream. about 10 40 and we just played a few more games a matching game um, we've done a lot of interacting as family today which is great each day is different sometimes I can get more tests in, in the morning other times I spend more time with the kiddos I made some um, cookie dough to make shapes to go along with our little lesson today that I had for the girls and they made little shapes with um, cookie dough cutters and so now I'm gonna actually make a maple cinnamon um, granola it's just one I've made up and so it's one I love having on hand different granolas and so I'm gonna do that and then we probably need to get outside because I can tell they need to burn some energy so we'll do that next Thankfully, he had a rough time um, he late morning. Actually, everybody kind of did. It was kind of a rough morning, per se, after some of the preschool stuff. So anyways, I'm hoping they fall asleep and um, have a good rest so they are rejuvenated for after nap. But I'm gonna start my chili. I have some hamburger, some locally raised hamburger, 
um, browning in the Dutch oven here. And then I'm gonna go grab an onion from the garden and I'm gonna add a pepper in there, some extra garlic, just some garden produce that's not my typical chili recipe. I have one over on my blog, an easy dump chili. If you want something similar, but that's very quick and simple, you can check that out. And then um, I'm gonna use some tomatoes that I have ripening on my windowsill there. And I have a lot more to go pick too. So I've been freezing my tomatoes so it can can them in the cooler months. Anyways, especially with it having been so hot, I did not want to can when it was 100 degrees out. So I'm going to go pick the onion, um, get the girls to quiet down, and work on this chili recipe here. So soup is simmering or chili. I don't call chili a soup because it's so thick and it's gotta be nice and meaty, beany, and heavy. So um, I'm going to clean our front porch and maybe do a little paint touch up. I haven't touched up the paint since I've redone that five years ago. So I just wanna do a little bit of that while kiddos are napping. Um, I'll have to nurse here in a little bit. He's in the swing now after he woke up from his nap a little bit early, but girls fell asleep so that's good i'm hoping everyone just wakes up refreshed like i said already and then i'm going to sit down and edit a little bit after that So good to have a fresh touch up paint on the walls and I got the cobwebs out of the walls, wiped some of them down. It just took about 20, about 20 minutes to do everything. So it was very encouraging for me to be like, all right, this has been a space where people enter my home and I want it to be welcoming and um, clean and fresh. So I'm letting it dry and then I'll add the little chair back in that I have and a little sign that I have over here that I'll put back. So for now, I'm gonna go edit a video and I'll catch up with you after nap time. Put it in the 
Go pick some more, Nadia. Uh, there's probably only where I can reach you. Good job. Well, the chili went over well. My husband got it actually finished and ready because I volunteered our food pantry once a month. So I was there from 4.30 to 6.30. So he watched the kiddos while I did that. And now I'm working on cleanup. The youngest two are down. It's about 7.30. And so I'm just gonna spend some time cleaning up. My husband's spending some one-on-one -on -one time with Nevaeh. And I need to go outside and water flowers too, but it's kind of an interesting day. Like the temperature dropped drastically. It's super windy. So just an interesting evening. So maybe we'll get some moisture as well. But I'm gonna spend some time cleaning up. much put to rest. I have dishes drying right now and I'm going to enjoy my Good Earth tea. This is my fall go-to. It's so delicious, caffeine-free, sweet and spicy. So, so good. It'll be nice to relax and drink this cozy warm tea, especially because it's now like 60 degrees out. So I hope you enjoyed today. Don't forget to check out Hillary at Old World Home. It is such a fun time to always get to um, have a collaboration with her and I hope you enjoy both of our homemaking videos today and what you got to come along with with what we both were doing and if you haven't subscribed yet I'd love to have you join my YouTube community here I do videos such as these simple and thrifted living and homemaking and motherhood so have a blessed and wonderful day friends and I will be coming at you with another video on Friday